Hey, what's going on you guys? This is Madam, and I'm coming back to you once again. This time I'm going to go over to RadarOnline.com, and this is an update about Nene and her lawsuit with Andy Cohen and Bravo. Um, it says, so nasty and rude, Andy Cohen and Bravo demand Nene Leaks racism lawsuit be moved out of the public eye. This article is by Ryan Noonan, excuse me, Newman, excuse me, and it says Nene has been fighting Andy Cohen and Bravo over their attempts to move her bombshell lawsuit, accusing them of retaliation behind the closed doors. According to the court documents obtained by Radar, NBC Universal, who owns Bravo, Cohen, and the producers of The Real Housewives of Atlanta, have informed the court of the dispute. As RadarOnline.com reported earlier this year, Nene filed a lawsuit claiming that, uh, excuse me, claiming to have reported multiple incidents. Incis- I don't know what's wrong with me right now. Incidents of racism or racist remarks by her co-star Kim uh, Berman. Leak said the network took no action against uh, Zoe Berman, but instead retaliated against her. In the new filing, NBC and Cohen explained they want the case to be moved to the private arbitration in uh, New York. If they are able to convince a judge, that means the entire case will be kept hidden from the public. Mm. The defendants claim leaks contacts excuse me contact has a provision that states all legal disputes will be handled in arbitration leaks in her lawyer have dis- disagreed with this stance the parties agreed to push the next deadline by 45 days to allow them to work out a deal and the lawsuit leaks lawyer wrote from the day the series began nini was the target of systematic racism from uh co-star kim berman which has well excuse me which was tolerated by bravo executive andy cohen and other executives leaks in october of 2017 leaks said it all hit the fan when berman and her daughter publicly attacked her with a claim her new home was roach infested. Excuse me, a roach nest, which is basically the same thing. She took to Instagram to speak out against her former co star, but then was reportedly told by the network to delete her social media posts. Okay? Leaks started, uh, starred on Real Housewives of Atlanta from its launch in 2008 to 2020. In court documents, she said after complaining about Berman, the producers in the network made her life a living hell for years with low ball offers or dirty games to make her look bad during production. Further, uh, the icon reality star claimed she was denied the right to do other work other than filming Real Housewives of Atlanta, when her housewives, who had not spoken out against her racially offensive treatment, were permitted to, permitted the right to do other work. Mm. Leaks also said Cohen tried to blacklist and sabotage her attempts to secure work beyond Real Housewives of Atlanta. She accused the Bravo exec of interfering with a potential deal with Sirius XM Radio. Cohen has admitted that he told Sirius XM Radio that Miss Leaks would demand a lot of money for any role on a radio show. An obvious effort to prevent her from getting such a deal, she wrote. Cohen has yet to publicly address the allegations. Uh, Kim Berman uh, was also asked about the allegations during a recent interview and said she would speak to leaks privately about the matter and that is the end of the update for the current lawsuit that is going on um apparently nini is not here to play and she intends to go forward 
with the lawsuit, um, basically it's a lot of bad blood. Um, anybody that has watched The Real Housewives of Atlanta, uh, you've seen the drama unfold for yourself. Me, unfortunately, I stopped watching like a couple of seasons in, so I wouldn't really be able to tell you, but I was watching around the time that her and Kim had fell out when the daughter had made a social media post. I believe it was a video. It was a bug that she said that was a roach. Um, it sparked a whole lot of drama and controversy at the time. And um, it really did hit the fan after that. So, uh, With that being said, other than that, I really don't know too much. But as always, I will definitely keep you updated with any story, including this one, that I happen to come across. Um, let me know how you feel about it in the comments. Drop down, as we always do, and let's get the conversation going. And with that, I will get with you guys in the next video.